What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about blood flow restriction training. But first, like, subscribe, comment, algorithm, you know the drill. So I find it really funny that people are asking about BFR training, blood flow restriction training. Now here's where I'm gonna give myself a little bit of back padding and I'm gonna be a little bit cocky. I first started talking about blood flow restriction training 15 years ago. It was actually called Katsu training or occlusion training at the time and now it's more commonly referred to as blood flow restriction or BFR. First off, what in the heck is that? Blood flow restriction training is where you are restricting blood flow by cuffing proximal to the limb. When it comes to arms, you're cuffing here, here. When it comes to legs, you're cuffing at the top of the quads. Why do that? I was reading a meta-analysis of hypertrophy way back in like 2007. I remembered seeing this katsu training reference repeatedly, and it seemed to have pretty impressive results, even in trained people. And I was like, huh, what is this katsu training? And it turns out they have a device, a blood pressure cuff that will inflate to a certain pressure. And they found that even using very, very light loads, like as light as 20% of a one rep maximum was able to induce the same level of hypertrophy as training with heavy loads. So I found this very interesting. Now the katsu apparatus itself is like $10,000. And as a poor graduate school student, I did not want to invest in that. So I tried various things. I tried like exercise band, that, that didn't work. Then I tried like a little Velcro belt and I cuffed the top of my legs and that seemed to work okay. And then I, one day I was squatting and I used to squat with knee wraps and I remembered that my calves would always get a big pump when I would squat with knee wraps. And I thought, huh, I wonder if you can do knee wraps on the top of the thigh, if that would work and then up here. Long story short, uh, knee wraps have now been validated as efficacious for inducing BFR. I use knee wraps and actually uh, one day I was in the gym, Gold's Gym in Champaign, Illinois, this is back in 2008, and there was an intern student there named Jeremy Linicky. And Jeremy saw me doing this BFR training on the leg extension and he was like, what is that? And I described it to him and he said, that looks stupid. And I was like, yeah, I know, but it, it's the craziest pump you've ever felt in your entire life. So he tried it, got hooked on it, and has now published more research on BFR than anyone on the planet. And he's now a professor at Ole Miss. So shout out to him. Uh, he's done a lot of great work. And I'm gonna try and summarize some of this work on BFR training. So is it better than regular training? No, it's not better than regular training. It allows you to have the same muscle growth as heavy training while using very light loads, anywhere from 20 to 50% of a one rep max. How does it do that? We think the way it works is basically it induces you getting to failure a little bit more quickly. Because you're restricting blood flow, you're increasing the accumulation of these metabolic byproducts which makes it more difficult for your muscles to keep going and you fatigue faster and so you reach that fatigue or failure point more quickly. There also is some evidence that it pre-fatigues the type one fibers a little bit quicker because you're restricting blood flow and that may help preferentially target the type two fibers or the more fast twitch fibers. Now, what's also interesting about blood flow restriction is it doesn't seem to induce as much muscle damage as training with heavy weights. So it actually could be a really valuable tool, especially for in-season athletes looking to maintain their muscle mass, but don't want to train heavy and cause a bunch of muscle damage, which could negatively impact their performance on game day. So it's not better. So why would you do it? One of the reasons you might do it is if you're stuck at home, like think about COVID. If you had very light weights, you could put a cuff on and you could probably make some gains doing things that way. Or maybe you're traveling, you're at a hotel, maybe you have an injury, who knows? There's all sorts of reasons you'd wanna use a lighter weight. Now, we do know that you know as low as 40% of a one rep max going traditionally, if you take it close to failure, you can still get the same benefits as a uh, heavy weight. So why wouldn't you just do that? At 40% of a one rep max, you can go for a really long time before you reach failure. But if you couple BFR with weight training, you reach the failure point more quickly. And so it's just a little bit more convenient. It also is the craziest freaking pump you will ever have in your entire life. It's insane. Okay, Lane, I'm interested in doing it. How do I do it? Well, if you're talking about doing knee wraps, what I recommend is using knee wraps for the legs, for any leg movement, whether it's calves, hamstrings, quads, you wrap at the very top at about a seven out of 10 pressure. So if 10 out of 10 is the tightest you can wrap a knee wrap, go about a 70% of that. You're gonna keep the cuffs 
on during the entire time that you do the exercise. And usually it's done as clusters. Now you can do it in multiple different ways. Uh, one of the ways it was done in the study was 50% of a one rep max. First set is 15 reps. And then each set after that is to failure. And you rest about one minute between sets. And there's also the more popular version that I think Linicky uses in a lot of the studies, which is 20% of a one rep max, 30 reps, and then three sets of 15 after that, resting 30 seconds between each set. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that you're getting close to your failure point each time. BFR is gonna allow you to do that. When it comes to arms, I recommend using quick release tourniquets. You can get them on Amazon for really cheap. I think they're like 10 bucks. They're easy to put on, just pull them tight. It's what doctor's offices use oftentimes if they're trying to draw blood to get a little bit more pronounced vascularity. So those can be great and they're very affordable. Now, I will say if you've never done this training before, the pump is absolutely painful and you will be in tears by the end, most likely. It is very, very painful, but it can be a really fun way to train, especially if you love a crazy pump. It allows you to get through a lot of sets very quickly, not very damaging, not very fatiguing to the central nervous system. So it's just a unique way to train, but you don't have to do it. It's not better than regular training, but it's a useful tool in the toolbox. And actually, interestingly, they have shown that people on bed rest, if they intermittently restrict blood flow, it actually attenuates muscle loss. And they've also shown that in people who are untrained, if you apply cuffs and then just have them walk, they actually get some hypertrophy from that. So it's the only thing I know of where you can walk and actually grow some muscle. Now, if you're used to resistance training, if you put these on and just try to walk, it's not gonna cause you to grow muscle because you're already so adapted to such a load. But again, pretty interesting that even with walking in untrained people, you can have a little bit of hypertrophy with this tool. I'd like to give a pat on my back to myself for talking about this stuff over 15 years ago. You can still find those posts on bodybuilding.com forums if you wanna look for them. And a lot of people told me it was really stupid, including a lot of IFBB pros who actually do it now. Maybe you guys should listen to me next time I talk about this stuff. All right, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you like the video, like the video. If you're interested in blood flow restriction training, we do incorporate it as part of some of our workout builder programs. So you can check those out, the link in the description. And I will catch you guys next week.